Hi guys, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, and thank you so much if you click this link from my blog. I sincerely appreciate you guys reading. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a little introduction. This is our first yoga video. Um, I'm really excited. It's a really simple flow. And I thought it'd be great to get grounded again um, and just, you know, get our roots back. And it's for anybody, any beginner can do this or even a seasoned pr practitioner. If you want to just slow down during your day, it's always a great opportunity to um, flow things out. So when you're ready, we'll just go ahead and grab a mat. We don't need any blocks or blankets or, or straps or anything. And I will meet you back here. Hi guys, welcome to your mat. I'm so glad to see you here. So today we're gonna get started in an easy pose and we'll just need our mat today. Um, so easy pose or Sukhasana is just a simple cross-legged pose and then we'll move any flesh out of the way that might be there so we can further root our sitting bones onto the ground. Well, we're gonna start by uh, a few simple breathing exercises. So whenever you're ready and you feel comfortable, at any point in time, before I get started, at any point in time you feel uncomfortable in a pose or you just don't feel like doing the poses today, I always say this in my class, you can always come into Shavasana. You can come into, the into Shavasana the entire class. That's totally cool, as long as you're listening to your body. Or you can come down into Child's Pose. As long, I mean, you know your body best, um, so just listen to it. Remember that every day is different. All right, that being said, go ahead, get back to our seated pose here. Move any flesh out of the way um, that, so you can further root your root bones down onto the earth, and then we'll start out with a simple breathing exercise. So you can have your eyes opened or closed here. If you're not comfortable with your eyes closed, you can just gaze down at the floor. So we'll sit up nice and tall, and we'll take a few breaths together. Exhale wherever you're at in your breath cycle. And then we'll inhale through our nose, filling up our belly. And then exhale, completely release out through your mouth. Again, just like that. Inhaling through your nose. And exhale, completely release out through your mouth. One last time. Inhaling through your nose. And then exhale, completely release out through your mouth. For the remainder of class, we'll be inhaling and exhaling out through our nose. So when you're ready, just gently seal your lips and then we'll become aware of our breath or bring awareness to our breath. If you'd like, I invite you to place one hand um, on your chest and one hand on your belly. As you inhale, notice where you feel your breath. Maybe you feel it in your chest. Maybe you feel it more on your belly. And then maybe turn your attention to where you feel it as you inhale through your nose, as it glides down your throat, across your solar plexus, and then filling up your lungs. Next inhale, I want you to inhale deeply through your nose and fill, fill up your belly. So you feel your bottom hand rise out in front of you. And then exhale, completely release belly button towards our spine. Again, just like that, sending our breath intentionally down into our belly. And then exhale, completely release out through your nose. One last time, inhaling through your nose, belly rises. Exhale, belly falls. And keep your eyes open or closed, and we'll gently bring our hands to the tops of our knees here. 
we're going to find our center, where we're at in space. So sometimes we lean forward in our seat, sometimes we lean back. We want to find that center point. So we'll just play around with very gentle, simple movement as you lean forward, side to side, maybe come back just a bit. But the goal is to get our shoulders right over our hips. Continuing breathing in and out through your nose, not losing awareness of that breath. When you found your center, take a deep inhale as you sit up nice and tall. The top of your head is going to reach towards the ceiling. Notice if you brought your shoulders with you and gently drop them down away from your ears. You exhale. Then reconnecting with your breath, inhaling through your nose, and exhaling through your nose. All right, when you're ready, we're going to begin some seated cat cows here. So we're just going to drop our hands a little bit farther down so you can wrap them around our knees here. On an inhale, our chest comes forward, belly puffs out for our seated cow. Maybe gaze comes towards the ceiling. And then exhale, we'll round back, broadening across our shoulder blades as our belly button pulls towards our spine for cat. Inhaling, coming forward, cow. Exhale for cat. Inhale the cow. Exhale to cat. And then if you're going faster or slower than me, that's totally fine. As long as you're flowing with your breath. We'll take two more of these. On your last one, we'll come back through center. And then we'll keep our legs out in front of us here. Just give them a nice little wiggle. You can scoop from side to side again here, rerooting your sitting bones. And we'll point and flex our toes, roll out our feet. Maybe wiggle our toes, wake them up a little bit. And we're going to come back to our seated Sukhasana position, our easy pose. Inhale, arms come up overhead. Exhale, as we twist to the left, our right hand's coming to the top of our left knee. Left hand comes behind us. Inhale, come back to center, arms lift up. And then exhale, twist to the right. Left hand comes to our right knee. Left, uh, right hand comes behind us. Inhale, one more time each side. Arms come up through center, and then exhale, gently twist. You don't have to crank your back. Inhale, arms come up. And then exhale, gently twist to the right. Inhale, we'll bring us back through center, and then arms will gently float down by our side. We're going to kick our legs out again here, but this time we're going to keep our knees bent, and our feet are going to be firmly planted on the ground here, just for a moment while we get set up. So again, if you want to rock from side to side, hands come back behind us, whatever position feels best on your wrist. If you want to turn your fingers out backwards, you can, or they can face forwards here. There's no real wrong way of doing this. We're going to take some simple windshield wipers. So our feet aren't going to be glued to the mat, but you're going to let your knees rock from side to side. Just gently finding the movement right now. We'll take two real quick. And then we're going to start incorporating our breath here, sinking it up. So inhale as our knees come through center. And then exhale as they come over to the left side. Inhale back through center. Exhale over to the right. So okay, if you slide, you can readjust. Inhale through center. And then exhale to the left. If you're on a different side than me, that's totally fine. As long as you're flowing with your breath. If you want to hold the position, you're 
always more than welcome to. One more each side. And we'll gently come back through center. We're gonna heel toe our feet in, lower about hip width distance, and then bring our heels as close as we can to our thighs. Hands come out in front of us as we slowly roll all the way down to our back. Hands are gonna plant firmly on the earth, so palms face down. And you might wanna gently walk your feet in just a little bit. Your fingertips might even graze your heels here. No worries if they don't. We're gonna come into a few just gentle bridge lifts. If you don't wanna lift your bridge all the way up or your hips all the way up to the sky, you can play around with very gentle pelvic lifts, just like this, subtle movement of your pelvis. But if you're ready and you would like to take this into some gentle bridge lifts, we'll firmly plant our feet onto the ground, lifting up our toes and then planting them onto the earth here. Hands spread wide, palms are pressed onto the earth. Take a deep inhale here as you lift your hips up towards the sky, pressing firmly through your feet and hands. Exhale as you compress and release down. Inhale as you lift up. Knees are squeezing together, still keeping that hip width distance. We don't want them, our knees splaying out from side to side. And then again, take a few of these on your own, just very gently. You don't have to go up into a full bridge here. Maybe one or two more here. Last one. And then we'll gently release. And we'll bring our knees into our chest. Hands will come on the tops of our knees here. We'll take a few knee circles, just very gently. Circles can be big or small, but on our inhale, our knees round out. Exhale as the knees come into heart center or into our belly area. Inhale as they expand out. Exhale as you compress in. And then we'll gently switch uh, rotation. Going in the opposite direction. All right, Find cent finding center here, we'll bring our knees into our chest. And when you're ready, we'll gently take a few rock and rolls up to a seated position. And then when we get here, we want to sweep our feet around to either side, and we're coming into a tabletop position. If you want to take any side-to-side -side movements, stretching out your hips here, you can. We just want to make sure that our wrists are right underneath our shoulders and our knees are underneath our hips here. All right, we'll find a neutral spine here. We'll tuck our toes. We're working our way into our first downward facing dog. So to set up, we wanna walk our hands one palm's length from where they're at right now. Fingertips are spread wide on the mat. And then when we get up in our downward facing dog, we wanna make sure we evenly distribute our weight through our fingers, our knuckles, and the pads of our hands. When you're ready, we'll take a deep inhale right here. And then exhale, we'll lift our knees as we press our hips towards the sky. Awesome. All right, so you're in your first downward facing dog. We'll just find a little bit of movement here. We won't be here for too long. But building from the ground up, we want to make sure that all 10 toes are facing forward and we can't see our heels anymore because they're hiding behind our ankles. And then we want to keep a slight bend in our knee and our hips come up high so our spine can lengthen. If you'd like, you can begin to pedal your feet out from side to side, finding a little bit of movement. And then when you're ready, any pad enough movement here, maybe you wanna shake your head yes, shake your head no, release any tension in your neck. We're gonna work our way into a forward fold, so we'll find stillness here. Take a deep inhale as you come high up onto your toes, 
and then gently walk forward. Maybe your fingertips will lift up off the ground. That's totally fine. But keep a deep bend in your knees here. So we want to completely relax forward. We'll gently come all the way up on an inhale. One vertebrae at a time. Head is the last thing to come up. Arms sweep up overhead. As we reset into our forward fold, hands can come down by our side. If you want a little bit of a wider stance, you can take your feet wider than hip width distance for more stability. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. And then exhale, forward fold. Hinging from your hips, keeping a bend in your knees. And if you'd like, you can let your hands dangle or rest on the ground. You can grab opposite elbows here, whatever is going to feel comfortable. So again, rerouting and building from the ground up. We want to make sure that we're rolling our weight into the balls of our feet. Our toes are the brakes and they won't let us topple over here. You want to keep a slight bend in your knees as your hips work towards the sky. Our goal in a forward fold is not to straighten our legs, but to find length in our spine. So the top of my head or the crown of my head is going to be reaching towards the floor as my gaze is straight back towards the back wall here. If you'd like to take any movement, you can swaying from side to side, grabbing opposite elbows. But I want you to turn your attention to your neck making sure that there's no tension there. You're letting go of all tension and you can feel your spine lengthening on every exhale here. Just a few more breaths. All right. Gently release our hands. We heel to our feet back to hip width distance just slightly. And then when you're ready, next inhale, deep bend in your knees as you slowly roll all the way up to standing. Arms reach up overhead. Then again, feet are hip width distance. Arms come down by our side. So we want to find our center here when we're standing in Tadasana. So you want to lift all 10 toes up off the mat, spread them more as wide as you can, and then place them onto the ground. Kneecaps are lifted, thighs engaged, and then our shoulders are rolling down. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Grabbing your left wrist with your right hand, we'll inhale, lift up towards the ceiling, and then exhale, stretch your left fingertips over to the right, breathing down our left side body. Inhale, brings you back through center. Exhale, switch your wrists. Inhale, lift through center. Then exhale, fingertips to the right here as our hips, or sorry, to the left as our hips work towards the right. Breathing down our right side body. Next inhale, will bring us back through center as we gently release our hands towards the floor. Beautiful. If you want to take any neck rolls, you can here. Eyes can be open or closed. Then again, we'll come back to our wrists. I don't think we actually came to our wrists. So, we'll, so to give our wrists a little bit of attention since we are in our downward facing dog. You can roll them, open your fingers, close your fingers. Give them a little bit of attention. All right. So coming back to um, our Tadasana here, we want to heel toe our feet out or step out as wide as our mat and our toes are going to be pointing towards our corners of our mat. We're coming into an easy Malasana squat here. So inhale, arms reach up overhead. As we exhale, slowly squat down. Maybe our fingertips reach the ground first and our heels will come up off the mat. We'll gently find some movement from side to side, kind of waking up our hips here. 
If you want to, you can take this into a full Malasana squat if you're familiar with it. If not, we'll just stay right here. Finding movement. Then when you're ready, we'll gently find a very graceful seat on our mat. And then again, keeping our knees bent here, feet are hip width distant, arms come right out in front of us, and then we'll gently, slowly make our way down towards our mat. Again, scooting our feet in closer to our bum, so maybe our fingertips graze our heels here. We're gently going to bring our right foot up and over, our left thigh. Right toes are going to be flexed back towards our face here. So this might be enough of a stretch for you in your hip. If you want, you can put just a little bit of pressure here. But if you'd like a little bit more of a stretch, you can gently take your hands, interlace your right hand in between this little circle underneath your right leg, and then your left hand will come around the outside and will interlace right behind your left thigh. You can stay here, toes are still flexed back towards your face here. You can take a deep inhale if you want to go further, and then exhale, pull this left knee into your chest. Your right elbow will be pressing against the inside of your right thigh. And breathing here, gazes straight up towards the ceiling. Reconnect your breath if you lost it. One more breath. And then we'll gently take a deep pull in and then gently release. And then we'll release this right foot down. Again, resetting our foundation with our feet here if you want to move them in a little bit closer. This time, left foot comes up and over. Opening up this knee here if you'd like. If this is a deep enough stretch for you, you can stay here. But again, if you want to take this into a deeper stretch, your left hand will come underneath your left leg in between that little hole. Right hand will come around the outside and interlace your fingers behind your right thigh. We'll take a deep inhale here. And then exhale, pull this right knee into your chest. Left toes are still flexed. This is just to prevent any injury to your knee here. And then with your left elbow, you're pressing a little bit against the inside of your left leg, giving it a nice deep stretch down the back of your left thigh. Again, reconnect with your breath. Eyes can be open or closed, gaze can be up at the ceiling, whatever's most comfortable. One more breath here. And then if you want to give one more hug in. And then exhale, gently release. Your left foot will release towards the floor. And then your right leg will completely release, left leg completely release. Inhale, arms will come up over our head as they lay on the ground. Fingertips are pointing away from us. Toes are reaching in opposite directions. We'll take a deep inhale like a morning stretch, reaching in equal and opposite directions. And exhale, completely release. One more time, just like that. Inhaling, reaching in equal and opposite directions. Exhale, completely release. Gently walk our knees up into our chest again. One more good hug in. Wrapping our arms around our knees here, or you can grab, interlace your fingers, you can grab opposite elbows. Take a deep inhale as your belly expands. Exhale, completely compress everything and try and reach your forehead to your knees. Squeeze in, giving yourself a big hug. And then gently release into Shavasana. So in your Shavasana, this can be yours. I encourage people to take up a lot of space always. 
You can be a big star pose because we are so programmed to take up as little space as possible in real life. So if you'd like to stay in Shavasana, you can pause the video now. If not, I will get you guys back up and seated in just a moment. Gently releasing any control you have over your breath. And open your mouth. Inhale and exhale normally. As your body gently melts into the mat. Relax your eyes. Your brow. And gently pull your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. When you're ready, you can begin wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes. Maybe you take one big morning stretch again. Gently release, and then when you're ready, gently roll onto your favorite side in the fetal position, cradling your head in your arm. Eyes can remain closed here. Then at your own pace, gently make your way up to a seated position. Easy pose. Sankasana. Whatever feels comfortable. And we'll bring our hands to our knees as we sit up nice and tall. We'll take one more breath together here as we inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, hands come through heart center. So we gently bow our head to our fingertips. Thank you guys so much for coming and flowing with me today. It is an honor always. The Light Me honors and acknowledges the Light Me. Namaste.